Hello everyone, welcome to the Surface Modeling Practice Tutorial and in this exercise you will learn how to create this grip shape here which is perfectly connected to this top piece and you see it's everything super smooth and everything as always 100% surface modeling and this nail gun is a part of my industrial design power tools course where we will create all of those three power tools completely from scratch. It's a very in-depth course. You will learn hundreds of techniques and not just split it across hundreds of different small YouTube tutorials, but everything organized in a step-by-step -step way. So you will learn basically everything you need about surface modeling to recreate basically any yeah, industrial design shape. And also you will have a huge course where I will introduce you into surface modeling. We will go through many practices and then at the end you will be able to create those power drills here. So check out first link in the description if you're interested and let's dive in into our practice here. So as always, you can download if you want this uh, project file here so you can follow along. And yeah, this is here the very beginning. And now we want with the reference create this very rough uh, grip shape, which is perfectly attached to the surfaces here at the top. So basically let's start it's super fun with creating a control point curve, which is shift F for me. And again, as always, we just follow here the main shape. And here at the end, we leave a little bit of, of a distance because we will just take this edge shift D duplicate it and rebuild it. So we can take those two points in points mode. And if we press loft, we can perfectly connect them. So we have perfect uh, tangents here. So this is what we need for a perfectly um, smooth curve. So we have here first our curve. And now, because why I'm showing you that, why it's so interesting, is because what is most interesting about the shape is we have here this handle here, right? Which is, yeah, round. But then we have here this triangle where it's changing the direction to the inside. And here we have a second piece. So this is very interesting. We ca so we can't just loft um, those edges here because then we will just get one rounding. But here we have three different surfaces. And yeah, it's just amazing. That's why I've picked also yeah this object here in the course. It's not just randomly picked. It's the most condensed different techniques and workflows on a condensed model. So you can in just in a few hours learn so many different things. And not like a car, which takes like 30 hours and you're always the same um, processes, you know, but here, yeah, it's a completely different thing. So let's start first with this big outer shape. And then we will cut things away. But here with this outer shape, just snap here on the, the edge because yeah, it goes till the edge, right? And again, just follow here this shape here. So we are basically done. So kind of. <laughs> um, and first of all, yeah, okay, we have to bring it here to the middle. And as always, we have to extrude them for tangency. And if you don't know what is tangency curvature, I have a super helpful PDF exactly for you where I explain what is tangency curvature, G1, G0, you have all shortcuts of uh, of plasticity and my individual ones so you can perfectly follow along and learn along the way. So we have something like that. And now because we want, so we can't, maybe someone thinks, okay, we can just here do something like that and it might work, but you wouldn't be on this channel if we wouldn't do the perfect way and connect this newly created surface to this edge here, right? So what we want to do is we will just take this edge here and also again rebuild it so we can use those points and we have to close it here with this rounding. So we have to duplicate also this curve here and now we can take those points and loft them and G1 is just for this tutorial enough. So let's press OK, delete this curve and you see we have these curves here and 
let's join them. So we have one curve and now uh, we also have to close here at the bottom, create a cage. So we can just create a very smooth cage because otherwise if we just loft it, yes, we can attach the curve here at the top and you see it's already smooth, but here at the bottom, <laughs> you see it just looks weird. So here at the bottom, select both edges, press, guys, put it on shift B, like I tell it in every tutorial, but shift B is the command for if you search here, bridge edge, you can reach it with your left hand. It's so fast. Again, in the PDF, you can find it. So shift B, and it's on the wrong direction, so just uh, click here on the sides. And let's go here to the side view and just approximately uh, make it so it's approximately the same height. So for the tutorials, fine. And of course, we definitely go much deeper because we also have to attach it at the bottom. But that would be too much for this quick practice. So, okay. And now select this bottom curve and the top curve and shift click and shift click those edges and this long edge. Voila, we have perfect transition here and that's exactly what we need. So let's delete here those uh, sheets. And the thing is, we have to break this whole surface into three pieces up, so in two more, so much fun. Uh, and first of all, you see, because here we are intersecting, we have to delete first of all those sheets and before we continue, let's close this hole here. Very simple. We just have to connect those two edges with shift B, bridge edge and just G0 because yeah, it's just flat. So we just connect those points and now select all of those points around, give it here a patch and voila. You see it's perfectly connected and we have one surface, no booleans, no basic techniques. So yeah, really cool stuff here. Then, okay, let's continue is we have to, let me paint it. We have to create here an edge. Why? Simple, because, uh, wait, let me. So we have to create here an edge. Why? Because we have to split here this piece away. So this will be completely deleted. Then this will be one surface. This will be this triangle will be a second surface and here on the three will be again a surface and here number three and number one, you see it's always the, um, the, the rounding of this right side. So we have to cut it somewhere here. You will see in a second what that means for us. So just create a line. So yeah, just something quick here. So something like that and cut it our surface and we can't cut it. So shift I. Uh, shift one for imprint. So let's imprint this curve onto our handle here. And now we just have to cut here this whole thing here away and rebuild it. So create a line and go here where you have the edge of this triangle and just shift one imprint again onto the handle. And now we can delete this curve and delete this whole surface because now you see what we have. We have exactly what I told you here at the bottom. We have this perfect continuous curve. And now we have to rebuild it here at the top the same. So create the curve and just follow again the shape here. Again, here we have to extrude it because we need in the middle continuity. And now we can just take this edge and this edge. And now before we do that, again, we have to create first the curve here at the top, which will be perfectly attached to the surface. So shift B bridge edge and just G1 for now will be fine. So you see, we get something like that. Press OK and now loft those edges and shift this curve here at the top. And yeah, you can play here with G2 or something, but yeah, that's not the point here. So press OK, delete the curve and delete this extra surface. And you see, we have at the top uh, a nice smoothness and to the bottom. So now we have to bring it a little bit into shape. Shift A, just go here to this endpoint and this endpoint and just cut also this little rounding here away. Perfect. You see? And now very simple, just Shift A, connect it and connect all of those three lines. And now we just have to join everything. So it's just one continuous uh, surface. We connect those edge points and again, 
as always, we have to extrude that. And that messed up, so let's, let me select this one, go to the side view, press E for extrude and F to drag that where we want it. Perfect, because now we can select all of those edges and, and we can patch them. And here in the middle, we have to give it G1, right? Because we will symmetry it over and we need continuity. Again, in the PDF below this video, everything is explained. Perfect. So we have this triangle here and perfect. So just delete here those details on the top, but here we have our grip and at the top we have a nice smooth connection and the bottom and everything is connected. So yeah, you can here close that hole here again and continue and try if you can do that on your own. And if that's something you're interested in, you can check out if you want first link in the description about this course and you will learn everything, literally everything about surface modeling, what you need. And even if you're a super beginner, if you have a little bit of experience and you watched some of my basic tutorials, you can follow along because as always, I explain everything super small and in detail because in our courses, we have much more time obviously than in those tutorials, right? So after the course, it's not just you copy that and then yeah, you continue with your life, but now you have, you have skills and knowledge about surface modeling, about plasticity, about the tools and how to use all those techniques to combine it into such objects so you're not stuck with the stuff what you see on two minutes YouTube tutorials, you know, and you never go above that because it's more than just watching two minutes tutorials, but it's like this whole thing of this whole techniques and workflows combining into one cohesive product, right? So check it out. I can really highly recommend it as our students, they have amazing results. They give amazing reviews. So check it out and I hope I can see you in there. Have a nice day. Bye.